In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use motion paths in Maya. The first thing I need to do is to create a curve, so I'm going to go to Create NURBS Primitives Circle. I'll scale up my curve, and then with both my curve and my mesh selected, I'm going to change to my animation menu set. Go to Constrain, Motion Paths, Attach to Motion Path. And as you can now see, my rocket is attached to my motion path. And if I hit play, uh, my rocket follows along the motion path. Okay, so maybe the rocket isn't in the correct orientation, however, so I need to fix that. I am going to, with my rocket selected, switch over to the Motion Path tab where I can adjust the front axis and up axis so that the rocket is pointing in the correct direction. So here I've changed it to front axis of Y and an up axis of X. With the rocket selected, I'm going to switch over to my channel box. By clicking on the Inputs Motion Path, we'll see that there are four different parameters that we can adjust. Front twist, up twist, and side twist will all also change the orientation of your rocket or whatever else you have attached to your motion path. Like most everything in Maya, these attributes can be animated over time. I'm going to uh, play some animation on the front twist to make the rocket spin around as it does its uh, circle. If I decide I don't want that animation, I can right-click on the attribute, front twist, and break the connection. Notice when the rocket goes around the motion uh, path that it actually starts out slowly and it gets faster, and then towards the end it slows down again. It's the U value that animates the rocket along the path. I'm going to go to my graph editor to take a look at the animation. Here is the animation curve. If I want to eliminate that slow in, slow out, I can select the curve and click on the linear button to make the rocket travel around the motion path at a constant speed. This enables the rocket to loop the animation seamlessly without that uh, pause. I can also speed up my animation in my graph editor by selecting the last key and dragging it to the left. This will make the animation happen over fewer frames, therefore the rocket will move faster. And if I want to do the opposite, I can once again open up my graph editor select that last key, and this time drag it to the right. Therefore, the animation will happen over more frames, and it will happen more slowly. I'm going to make my animation happen over 200 frames. So I'll drag that last key to frame 200. Sometimes it's easier to just type the value in manually. And if I right click on U value in the channel box and break the connection, I can get rid of the animation altogether. 
A value of zero is the U value means that the rocket is at the beginning of the path. A value of one means that the rocket is at the end of the path. 0.5 would be halfway on the motion path. By animating the U value, I can make the rocket uh, go forward, go backwards. I can make it pause. All I need to do is enter a value in the U value, right click on the words U value, and then key selected. Now if I hit the play button, my animation will play. The rocket will have three pauses, and then it'll go backwards. So for the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to get rid of this animation, and I'm going to just make it a very simple animation once again of the rocket going around the motion path at a constant speed. In other words, linear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my curve, go into its components, and alter the curve to make it a more interesting shape. I'm moving its control vertices uh, to make this more kind of wavy pattern. Now when I play the animation, the rocket will not only go around the motion path, but will also have this uh, up and down motion. So with my first example, I'm using a simple NURBS circle. Now I'd like to show you something else. So this time I'm going to create my own custom curve by going to Create Curve Tools CV Curve Tool. This tool will allow me to draw my own custom curve. All I need to do is click on the points where I want to locate my CVs, my control vertices, And when I'm ready to complete my curve, I just press Enter on my keyboard. Notice that this curve is not an enclosed shape like the previous example using a circle. And since my curve exists on a plane right now, I'm going to go into its components, selecting its CVs, its control vertices, and move them up and down in the y-axis. If you remember in the previous example, I had a little bit of a problem with the orientation of my rocket when I attached it to my motion path. I'm going to show you a little trick I like to use that makes it a little bit easier. So I take my rocket and what I do is I put it into a group. And then instead of attaching the rocket to the motion path, I attach the group to the motion path. So with the group selected and the rocket nested underneath, I can now select my curve and once again go to Constrain and attach it to the motion path. Once again you see I have this problem where it's not oriented correctly, however because the rocket is nested in a group, all I have to do is select the rocket and then rotate it into the orientation that I desire. My first example used a circle, which is a closed shape. This curve, on the other hand, is an open shape. But what if I wanted to make it into a closed shape? I'm going to select my curve 
and then under the modeling menu set I will go to curves and click on open close and this will make my curve into a closed shape now. When I play my animation I have that default slow in slow out. It slows out at the beginning of the animation, slows in at the end of the animation. That's why there's that pause. But what if I want the rocket to continue going around this loop uh, and I wanted to do it linearly. Once again, I'll go to my graph editor, select the animation curve, and hit the linear button. And now my rocket will move around at a constant speed throughout the whole cycle. Remember that you can attach all sorts of things to motion pads. Characters, vehicles, cameras, for example. Using motion pads can be an effective and fun way to animate in Maya. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching.